signed up, um, we go on login to Google Bros and uh, I think that is me. Hey beautiful people, good morning. So there is a lot going on this week. I'm presenting my proof of concept concerning document engine. So the ability to uh, store document in the PS PDF kit document engine and via the backend. Some actions to send to the front end and have the possibility to edit the PDF via annotations, fields, and later with the signatures. So I have to present this to my team. So I just got back from my um, daily scrum to talk with the team. And we also have a new team in, uh, in remote for uh, QA, so the new QA team. And uh, yeah, there is a, there are quite stuff to do uh, this week. And I also have to continue to my set project All right, after testing with Postman client, the download PDF, I actually add just the uh, byte array uh, getting into the response. So I changed, I uh, just returning in my response entity a string or simply an information, a log telling, hey, you're downloading a PDF. So I created a button in my front end using um, um, a simple button in the TypeScript. I created just a function and calling the backend service uh, TypeScript that calls the uh, controller on a get method. So I'm able to download the PDF and saving in my generated sources. So I have the document filled with the fields uh, that I edited in my front end. So when I when I download the document, I'm able to uh, download it in the generated sources of the target folder in my backend. Sorry guys, I went for PrimeNG as a UI library for my um, uh, Angular project, Angular application, because I uh, like PrimeNG and, and I used before in uh, another company that I uh, previously um, worked with. And uh, I didn't follow your suggestion about Tailwind or Bootstrap, but thank you a lot for this suggestion. And if I don't find what I need, uh, with a prime ng uh, so it's prime faces but the ng version for angular if i don't find what i need i probably i might switch to tailwind of course thank you a lot for your suggestion the question of the day is what do you think is to a uh, good idea to protect the routes or uh, hiding the uh, the dashboard uh, uh, features for the uh, manager or user backend side or front end side that means we have to apply the security first in the back end, redirecting pages if we don't have the right to be on that uh, menu or on that board or on that dashboard. If, for example, we are a user or a manager, we don't have the right to be in the admin. 
we should just redirect and backend side applying the rules and security or just having the full access and hiding features in the front end. So retrieving the role and then um, modifying the behavior of uh, the menu and uh, the features only front end side. So that's the question of the day. I'm pretty curious to know your answers. Uh, so enjoy the rest of the vlog and drop a comment and catch you later. Okay, so regarding the PDF generated in the generated PDF target folder, um, we can test with uh, a real quick mini integration test. So generating the PDF, if we have the 200 response from the REST template, okay, we can uh, easily create an integration test. So we have to mock the REST template. Yeah, if I see the controller, the REST template is mocked because we just have to simulate the, um, the exchange with the REST template. We need document engine URL as a value because we are in the test, so in the test property context. And auto wire the mock MVC, that way we can call the controller and we have to test and assert two things the 200 OK response and the fact that we created correctly the PDF. So assert that the PDF exists and if I run the test is OK. This is regarding the document engine a URL um, integration test. OK, so I'm supposed to create a Jira bug because after the uh, session of uh, yesterday uh, with the Q&A team in remote, we spotted a bug in staging environment. So when we navigate from one tab to another, we make changes. We are supposed to uh, throw a pop-up uh, telling the user, hey, you made some changes. You want to discard of saving. And actually I had this in, lo in my local environment. So in the development environment, it works. So uh, I, yeah, I don't know why. Probably I should test in the integration before stage environment. So for that video, I want to show you guys how we can versioning the database. And um, I just spoke with a, a colleague in another team, and he said that it's pretty hard to put in place a versioning, or at least it's pretty verbose. And uh, I think that to me it's pretty simple, like installing just Flyway Core that I've installed in my uh, Palm dependencies. So we just have to bring Flyway Core from Arg Flyway DB. And I want to show you real quick, if we change a field in, a, in an entity or we add a new entity, so um, it's like Git, we have to uh, create versions, so we version the database. So when we create a field in an entity, um, Flyway is going to check the DB connection and the model.
moving forward, we have two things to install in the package.json for the Angular application. So we have Prime Icons 7 and PrimeNG 17 following the Angular version, uh, the latest version. Then we just have to um, import the node modules Prime Icons CSS in the styles in the Angular JSON and then in the main style that SAS or as CSS we have to import the resources and the theme for using the PrimeNG main CSS uh, and then we can start um, building blocks and components with, uh, with the HTML templates and components that the documentation of PrimeNG offers and uh, we are good to go. PrimeNG components are pretty um, ready to use sometimes with just basic customization for centering a card, maybe in the middle, or adjusting scroll, the size, the button. Instead of using um, a small button, you have to center, make it uh, full, um, full size uh, in terms of, uh, of width. So you have to adjust sometimes the CSS, but uh, I'm pretty happy with uh, PrimeNG components. All right, so we do have the form. Um, this is supposed to be a new navbar here, but I just have the button for changing the route. As you can see, login and sign up. So we have, we are, we land on sign up form. This is the basic route. So we have this uh, cool and simple form from uh, PrimeNG. Not a lot of CSS inside, just to center the card in the screen and having um, the button full size and uh, yeah, a couple of icons and uh, the job is done.